So I built this bike up back in uh, oh, around end of October, early November. And I purchased this frame from a company called Framed. They're out of Minnesota. They, they had these on, uh, these were demo frames for photography or whatnot. So they had them on clearance for, uh, I think I paid $375 shipped to my door for the frame with the rear through axle. It's carbon fiber, uh, internal cable routing. Uh, so it's my first carbon fiber bike. Uh, so up front I have a Marzocchi, a Marzucci, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Bomber Z2 with 120 mils of travel, 34 mils of stanch 34 millimeter stanches on it. Uh, again, since I'm going single speed today. So this is the IXF uh, crank set. It's an Amazon special. I've been running this one for about a year and a half now in various bikes. It's held up great. No complaints. Bottom bracket's still good. Everything's tight. Uh, this is a 3 by crank set. It's very popular amongst the budget crowd. Uh, you know, if you had a bike you needed to fix up, you don't want to dump a lot of money in it. And a lot of people go with these and it, it's been solid, so I have no complaints about it. You know, if it breaks, I'll replace it with something perhaps better but until it gives up the ghost I'm gonna keep running it so I have a 32 tooth chain ring on it up front moving on back to the rear here uh, the single speed setup I have I this particular wheel set which is a Sunringle Millfoot 50 SL which has an XD driver on it so I, I went with the problem solvers zinger which is the adapter you need here to uh, converts to single speed. It's really nice. Uh, it's, it's six bolt pattern and all these parts here are individual spacers so you can fine-tune your chain line to get it to where you need it uh, for perfect alignment so that's pretty nice. Uh, came with the 22 tooth, excuse me, the 20 tooth chain ring uh, cog which I have on here now and also an 18 tooth. For a chain tensioner I'm using a Surly Singulator. This is a well-made uh, chain tensioner. It comes with two different springs that you replace inside here so you can have it for tension pushing up or tension pushing down. I have the spring in there for upwards pressure. I, I have a, I ordered a different one because this one doesn't quite work with uh, the dropout I have. As you can see, if you can see in here, I was kind of dog-legged in instead of being this part there's a notch here that sticks out uh, a lot of uh, your dropout hangers this is completely flush so in order to set tension on here you can kind of see these flats there's a wrench that you you back off the tension on the screw which is attached to the derailleur hanger and use a, a flat wrench and twist it to, to add tension then you lock it down well, the problem with this particular derailleur hanger setup is you can see where the flat is here. The other end of the wrench hits the derailleur hanger or the frame, so I cannot get as much tension on it as I need to run the 18 tooth cog uh, just because I can't turn it uh, far enough. So, this is a quality, you know, it's well made, it's quality. Uh, piece of equipment it just doesn't work with my particular frame so if you have a more if your derailleur hanger is flush through here this would be an excellent choice because it also has here this bolt you can you loosen this and you can adjust you can adjust the jockey wheel back and forth to line it up uh, to really fine-tune your chain line so everything's all nice and even so that's that's a really nice feature uh, so if you are thinking about doing a single speed conversion on a bike, on your standard mountain bike, uh, and you have a normal derailleur hanger, uh, take a look at that. I mean, this is, this is a quality piece right here. It just doesn't work well with this particular frame. So then moving on, the tires I'm using here are the V-Tire Bulldozer. Uh, they're 3.0 tubeless ready, so I'm running them tubeless. Uh, 120 TPI. So the, the tread pattern on here, of course, this could be all muddy. 
is these are massive cornering knobs. Uh, the transition knobs are big. Uh, unlike most tires that have uh, the ramp knobs are typically facing this direction, They're, these are facing the opposite. So these things really dig in and bite, but you pay for it in rolling resistance. So while I love the tread pattern, I love the grip. It's, uh, I'm just on the fence about getting something that's that's faster rolling, especially for a single speed. But, you know, I love the, t <laughs> I love the tires, love how they look, so I hate to give them up. But, you know, there comes a time where, you know, unless I want to kill myself, I may have to go something a little, a little faster rolling. Uh, other than that, they're great. I, I, I really dig them. So up front here, race face effect bar and stem. Uh, this is a 60 mil stem on here. And these 35 millimeter diameter clamping diameter. Race face half Nelson grips. I try, I've been looking at these for years, finally bought a pair. They're pretty comfortable. Uh, they're single lock on, I like dual lock on, but so far they haven't twisted on me. I also have Shimano SLX uh, two piston brakes, front and rear. 180 mil rotor up front, 160 in the rear. Uh, I really like the SLX. Brakes are a nice, good stopping power. Uh, so I dig them. And for dropper post, 150, uh, excuse me, no, this 125 millimeters of drop. This was a, a Bond Traeger, which came off my uh, Roscoe. Maybe we could go 150, but at this point, uh, for what I use this bike for, I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, 125 is just fine. I'm not going to use this on anything too steep or technical. I've I've tried it. It's uh, it's got older geometry on it, so it's it's best as what how I'm riding it, like on a more of a cross country. I've got other bikes I can take on steep stuff. Uh, for the saddle, WTB uh, Speed. This is my favorite saddle. Uh, super comfortable. Fits me perfect. This goes on all my bikes. Uh, probably a little bit heavier. I'm not so much a weight weenie, so that doesn't bother me too much. And then I guess to cap it off would be the pedals. These are Bond Traeger uh, Mountain uh, SPD compatible pedals. I like them just fine. The red matches the bike pretty well. Paint's not very durable because uh, I don't have a whole lot of rides on these, and you can see the paint's flicking off. So if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably. Uh, a bike I'm going to ride, if I was just going to make a an art piece, I'd go with these. I'd just go with the regular silver because these are going to get these are going to get worn out and uh, the paint's just not going to hold up. But they work just fine, uh, but aesthetically, yeah. So I guess that's about all I got with this bike. Uh, get back to riding.